Hi everybody, it's Jo from Yogi Jo and I'm so glad that you're here. So today we're going to be doing our core play, getting our core in place. Um, you will be needing, let's grab uh, two blocks, let's grab a blanket and a strap. Definitely going to be using those. And let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit down on a mat, you're going to place your feet into Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together. Sitting up nice and tall, shoulders back. If you need to sit on a block because you're finding you're sitting with your back rounded, please place a block or a blanket underneath your buttocks. And let's begin. So remember to do this with honor and respect to your body. Closing your eyes, focusing on your breath. Your nose is parallel to the floor. As you surrender, relax the shoulders, tighten through the core. Inhale and push your belly out like a big balloon. And as you exhale, allow the navel to work towards the spine. Focusing on your breath, nice deep inhalations and exhalations. So yoga is unique because your core is there to support you through every single pose you do. And in this case, the abs you want to play all the time. So when you play with the abs, you must keep building core strength that helps to reduce strain on the spine and prevent any injuries by improving your posture and your balance. It is important to build stability and muscles in your core from the inside out and will work those four very important abdominal muscles. They are known as the rectus abdominals, the external and the internal obliques and the transversus abdominals. Possibly, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me just tell you a little bit about them. So your internal and your external, keeping your eyes closed. Your internal and your external um, obliques, this is where the guys mostly focus. That's the muscles that allow your trunk of your body to twist to the opposite directions. That's what you're using when you do those poses. Your rectus abdominals, that's your six packs. They regulate your breathing, protect your internal organs, um, and they're also called they create internal abdominal pressure. Your transversus abdominis, those who ride deep, deep, deep down inside, that's your deepest muscle. And that's below everything, incredibly important for maintaining and functioning strong core and creating a large amount of stability for internal abdominal pressure. Kindly drop your chin down toward your chest. A little saying for today. C, if you take the word core, C means committed to truth and reality. O is open to growth and instruction and feedback. R is to respect for yourself, respectful towards others and always without dishonoring yourself. E is for empathetic and compassionate towards others without enabling people to ever disrespect or dishonor you. Slowly begin to open up your eyes, draw them along the floor in front of you until your chin is parallel. Bring your palms together. Welcome to yoga, everybody. So we're going to start off by working into, I call it a seated log. So you're going to take your right foot, you're going to place it in front of you, you want it parallel to the front of the mat. Your left foot's going to come right on top of that right knee. And you want to try and make a nice diamond, well not diamond, no, how's my nice, uh, shapes. It's a triangle. So you want to get a nice triangle here. You might be sitting like this. It's absolutely fine. Take some time to get nice and square into your triangle. But don't have this foot in and don't have this foot in. Have them out as far as possible. Straight, straight locks. So that the right foot is underneath the left knee and the left foot is on top of the right knee. From there, you place down your right hand, lift up the left, and then stretch over and extend. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Lengthen, feel the nice stretch through the abdomen, so you really feel the oblique stretching. And let's work over to the left side, bringing over that right arm stretch. Slowly up you come. So we're taking that left foot, you're gonna place into your elbow, you're going to hold onto the knee and we're going to pretend like we've got a little baby here. So just rocking forward and back your little child. Sit up tall, so no rounding of the back, try and lift up, try and relax the shoulders. And just rock it from side to side, just going to move back a little bit. Now you're going to straighten up that right leg in front of you, stretch it out, keep sitting up tall. 
flex into the right foot. And then placing down gently, like it's a child, place down your right foot and the right knee. Work it down, see how nicely you can go, and keep sitting up straight. You're now going to bring your right foot underneath. This is called Adha Padmasana, your half lotus pose. So your foot's under, your foot's on top, and you're working to that kind of that little bow here. So either you sit exactly like this, or as best as you can. If you wanted to work into full Padmasana, you just take your foot underneath, your right foot underneath, and place it on top, coming into Padmasana. You can tuck your toes in, and you want to try and get your knees parallel. So you want to really try and tuck yourself in, sitting up nice and straight. Okay, we're going to work to the other side now. So now you're going to take down your left foot, placing it down. You're going to take the right foot down on top of the left and the knee down. One side will be completely different to the other side. So you might be sitting up like this. It's also fine. So your knee, your right knee is on top of the left foot. Left foot, I mean right foot is on top of the left knee. Ha! Okay. Sitting up nice and straight. Let's take our right hand down, lift up through the left and extend over stretch. And slowly up, pick up, placing down the left hand, right arm starting to go. Big extension. And slowly up, pick up. Take hold that right foot and place it into the crease into your elbow. And we're gonna do our little baby rock. That's your bad baby, like I won't sing. <laughs> Although it was my dream to always be a singer, but hey, that's not singing. That's just irritating. Okay, so sitting up tall, hugging out. Let's straighten out the left foot. Make sure it's nicely flexed and you're sitting up tall. If you're hearing this noise, that's my sitting bones. At least you know they're working. Straightening up. And if you're wondering what this is here, this plastic and this line, this is all my curtaining inside my studio uh, for the COVID. It's, it's plastic. You go into a bowl when you come in, but at least it helps. And then slowly placing down your right foot, right knee, sit up tall. So we'll attempt to go into Ardha Padmasana, our half pose, placing that foot underneath, placing it right in. So either you're going to stay right here, you're a nice little bow, or you're going to attempt to go into the full pose. If you can't go there, you don't have to worry. Or that will give you a nice little place. If you find that you can just about go, but not there, a nice way to do it is to actually lie down on your back and work into it. So you can take your legs and you can place them in. It's easier to move the feet around. So if I move this foot in, it's easier to pull them in when you're lying down. So if you want to all just try that, because we have to go into our backs now anyway. So if you're really lying on your back, and just see how it feels. If you only get one in front and one behind, that's fine. But just feel the difference. I find I have a lot more room to come forward if I'm lying on my back. So give it a try. Try both sides. So now I have to change feet, this one in and this one over. Okay. Lovely. All right. And then you're all going to release and straighten up the legs to the ceiling, flex into the heels. And we're going to carry on from here. So this is our nice 90 degree pose. We lie on our backs in a dead bugger pose. So from here, shoulders are relaxed. Your arms are going to go straight up to the ceiling. So dead bugs, when they die, they, they tend to shrivel up. So I want you to try and lift your tailbone off the floor. Lift the tailbone, try and keep the legs straight, push into the heels. And then lift your chest and your head. I'm going to hold it here. So keep lifting toes to the nose. Lift up, pull through the tailbone. Tighten that core. Stretch up. Hold it here now. We're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, two again, and one. And we can bring the knees and give them a hug. 
So the reason they do this is they're trying to get to heaven. They just can't get there. Okay. So the next pose, you place your hands behind your head. Stretch those legs up. You don't have to lift up your tailbone this time. You can leave that down. You should lift up your chest. So I want you to come really high. Make sure you're comfortable here. And let's take that right leg down just above the floor. Hold it there. And bring it back up. Left leg. Hold it there. And up it comes. Right. And up. And left. And up. And right. Keep lifting. Lift the chest like you're growing. And up. And left. And up. And right it. Up. Left. Up. Right. Up. Left. Up. Right. Up. Left. Up. Right. Up. Left. Let's do two more rounds. Up. So right, lift, 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 keep lifting. Up, left, up, right, last set. Up, left, up, hold it here. Let's stretch your arms, butt pose, lift your bum, lift your bum. And we take both right hands and the right leg over to the side. So you stretch over, stretch, take with my foot. And come up. And over to the left. Now, if you want to do this properly, when you come up, I want to lift up the hips, lift the tailbone, over to the right, and up, over to the left, and up, lift the tailbone, over to the right, and up, over to the left, and up, lift, over to the right. And up, lift, over to the left. And up, over to the right. Look at my foot. And up, over to my left. And up, over to the right. And up, over to the left. And up, over to that beautiful right. And up. Over to the beautiful left. Let's do two more sets and we're done. Up. Right it down. And up. Left it down. And up. If you want to push a little bit, lift that. Last set. Right. Up. Last set. Left. Well, last one. Left. Up. Put a lift up. And release. Beautifully done, guys. I'll give you a nice release. You can place your feet hip distance, close to your buttocks, hands down. Just do a little tuck in of the glutes, tighten the thighs, just lift up not too high, just a nice stretch. And slowly coming down. Okay. So we take our hands behind your head and we're working to some little crunches. So I want you to bring the knees together, the feet, the knees are parallel to the floor. The knees and the hips, sorry, and the fact that the shins are parallel to the floor. Flex those feet. We're going to do 10 little crunches here. So I want you to lift up. And now don't go down to the floor. So coming down just above the floor. And up. And down. And up. And up. Up for four. Down. Five. Down. Six. Down. Seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, hold it up here for ten, hold. Now you take the right leg out in front of you, right elbow to the left knee, hold. Let's change legs while you're here. So change legs, now left elbow to the right knee, swap and hold. 
Change legs. Let's swap elbows. Let's change legs. Let's swap elbows. Let's change legs. Let's swap elbows. Let's change legs. Swap elbows. Change legs. Swapping elbows. Changing 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 legs. Three more sets. Over. And change. Slow it down. And over. Change. And over. Two more sets. Change. And over. Change. Last set. Over. Change. And over. Well done. You can change it and bring them in. Give them a hug at the shins. Relax the back. Cross over to ankles. Hold into those little feeties. And let's come up into onto all fours. So you're on your knees. Your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Make sure your back is nice and flat. No arching. Lifting up. Tighten that core. Let's work our cat and cow. So feet behind. Inhale, looking up. And exhale, rounding down. Inhale, looking up at your eyes. And looking down at your navel. One more. Inhale, looking up. And exhale, working all the way down. Come back to the center. I'll take my socks off because otherwise I've got no grip. So from here we're going to a plank. So all you do is keep your back nice and flat where you are. You know, step back, toes are underneath. Stretch, tighten that core. I want you to bring the right knee to the left elbow. So you bring it in and stretching out, stretch it above the floor. Let's do three more. In and out and in. Out, last one. In and out. Place the foot on the floor. Let's work to the left side. Left in. And out. And in. And out. Push into the heels. It makes it easier. In. Out. Last one. In. Out. Place the foot down and work into your down dog. Push into your tailbone. Stretch it out. Release. Lengthen. Just extend. Walk it out if you need to. Breathe into it. I can see me losing this top. Slowly but surely. Getting undressed. I don't mean to be, but it just happens this way. Okay, so walking out to down dog. Side to side. Lengthen and stretch. Turn your head side to side. And up and down. Okay, I want you to bring your feet together. We're going to bring our right leg up to the ceiling. Go on to the tippy toes of the left. Relax the head. You're going to bring the right knee to the right elbow or armpit. I prefer armpit. And you're going to plant. So bring it right up to your shoulder. Hold. And up you go. Let's do three more. Forward. Hold. And up. Two more. Forward. Hold. And up. One more. Forward. Hold. And up. Place the foot down. Just walk it out. Feet coming together. Up onto the toes. Let's take the left leg up to the ceiling. To your shoulder if you can, armpit, or if you can't get that high to your elbow. I want it right up in a plank. And up. Right in the plank, grip your core. And up. 
Two more, bring it forward. Hold. And up. Last one, bring it forward. Hold. And up. Place that foot down, walk it out. Beautifully done. Stretch it out, lengthen. Look at your hands and slowly walk your feet towards your hands. Body of bones touch ankles apart. Relaxing your head down, Uttanasana. Remember what's great in Uttanasana, it's great for disturbed nerves. If you're menstruating, 